to know is to comprehend. Do you know, do you comprehend in this moment who or what you serve? We must all be serving someone or something. Whom or what are you choosing to serve right now? It takes courage to ask this question of yourself. But without courage, you can't practice any other value consistently. Maya Angelou. Unit 2, Leading by Serving. In this unit, you will begin to learn about the concept of servant leadership. In particular, you will learn the characteristics of servant leaders. Obviously, servant leaders express an unlimited liability for others. That does not mean that they simply dote on others or take responsibility for others but it means that they carefully listen and they focus on others and have an empathy for others. Servant leaders tend to know themselves very well. They know their own identity and what seems to drive them is a desire to serve others. Servant leaders also hold a vision which will evoke trust of the followers and the people that they serve and servant leaders are capable of building a community around them. As they lead, servant leaders will use that power ethically. Your first reading is from Robert Greenleaf, entitled The Servant as Leader. At the beginning of this reading, you will read how Greenleaf proposes that prophets and seekers are essential constructs for servant leadership. If you will think back historically, we have had examples of many great leaders. And oftentimes these days we believe those sorts of leaders are lacking in our current society. And yet Greenleaf proposes that in actuality, leaders still exist. There are those who do prophesy about the future and have a vision, and there are people who are still seeking to be led. In particular, Greenleaf proposes that servant leaders will sacrifice their own needs for the needs of others. But in order to do that, they listen to others first, and then they articulate the vision. Your next reading will be a reading about Harriet Tubman, who was a conductor on the Underground Railroad during the Civil War. Harriet Tubman was born a slave in 1821, yet she escaped to the North. After her escape, however, she continued to return to help others escape from the South, and she used the existing Underground Railroad. As such, Harriet Tubman became a leader of the abolitionist movement and others easily followed her and while the, those in the North were uh, very happy uh, with her efforts, those in the South were not. In that reading, you will see the characteristics that Robert Greenleaf identifies as a servant leader you should be able to identify those characteristics in Harriet Tubman. The idea of servant leadership is a key concept that many in today's society believe we need leaders to better understand these concepts. Man at his best, like water, serves as he goes along. Absolutely.